Okay, so this video is on how we are going to put all of our elements and compile them so they look something like this. We are going to be using Photopea for this. So we're creating somewhat of a poster of all of the elements. So um, you should have edited all of your photos and you need to get them onto the computer, download them to the computer so you can do this. Um, so we are going to start out and you should have eight photos, by the way. Here is the size you are going to use when you use Photopea. So this is the size of our canvas. Okay, so go to photopea.com and we're gonna do file new. And this is 12 by nine. So super important, a lot of people forget this. Right here, be, um, make this the first thing you do. Change this to inches or double check that it's inches. And then you can do 12 by nine or nine by 12, it's up to you. This is however you want your poster to be. I'm gonna do 12 by nine um, and then we are going to name this elements and then you can do poster or your last name, whatever is easiest for you. Background, actually we'll do 100 for the DPI, dots per inch. The background can be white or black, it's up to you. Then click create. Okay, so this is our background um, and we are going to create boxes um, kind of like this. We will have our photo and then we will have our text. So. Um, you need to know where all of your edited photos are saved. I am just using photos that from Google. These are not my own images just for this example. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is create a box. So the colored box, if you hover down here on your toolbar, um, you can click this rectangle and you can choose the color of this rectangle up here under fill. Um, you can do a gradient or there's like patterns. It doesn't matter what you do. Um, I'm just going to stick with color for now. So choose a color. Um, I had someone doing like, they look like Polaroids, so that was kind of cool. So to make the box, you are going to click and drag. And what, depending on the, the, the type of photo, the orientation of your photo, um, that will be the orientation of this box. So this would be for a photo that is landscape. Um, and then you could have one, you know, this one would be like for a portrait um, orientation picture. So. Um, I have my box. If it's not exactly the right shape, we can change that later. So now I'm going to put my photo in here. So similar to the elements or the alphabet project, you're going to go to file, open and place. Open and place. Um, I have my pictures on my desktop, so I'm just gonna go with, um, with those. So I will choose this one right here. So my picture appears on here. And something that really drives me nuts, I've noticed a lot of people doing, is they just go in and they make their photo smaller, but it distorts it. Do not distort your picture. So I'll do my Control Z to fix that. You need to, and you wanna make sure you're on the Move tool when you uh, resize things. And remember, you want Transform Controls checked so you have that bounding box. When you make something bigger or smaller, you need to click and hold down shift first and then grab from the corner to make it smaller so it doesn't distort the image. So I'm gonna fit that just a little bit smaller than my box here. Um, and remember you are fitting, you're gonna need to fit eight of these photos in here. All right, so I have it where I want it. Now this box, I'm gonna have to have text in here. So I need to make my box a little bit bigger. Um, so over here in the layers bar, um, you want to make sure that you uh, select the layer that you want to um, edit. And by the way, if your photo is not showing up, it's showing up in the layers, but it's not showing up on the actual artboard, that means it might be behind or underneath the little rectangle box we created. So you want to make sure um, it is uh, at the very top. So the layers determine the order of the imagery on the canvas, just so you know. Okay, so I want to make my box a little bit bigger. I am going to make sure this is selected. I'm going to use the move tool. I have my bounding box and I'm just going to click and drag. I'm going to leave a little bit of space for the words. Um, I might actually make this a little bit bigger as well. So hold on shift, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so I have these items where I want them. Um, and by the way, you can use your arrow keys on your keyboard to nudge things just a little bit. Now we're going to add text. So on this toolbar over here, there's a T for text. Go ahead and click that. 
and then I'm going to click right on top of this rectangle box. You see the text layer appears over here in the toolbar or the layers bar. And I'm going to go ahead and write texture. Okay, so it's super small. Um, what you can do is double click or highlight it. Um, and you up here is the sizing. So you can toggle with the size. You can change the, um, the font. Um, so here's a bunch of fonts. I do not care what you choose, whatever you want. Um, there's some more stuff over here you can mess around with. Um, the color of the text. So maybe I want bright green text. Um, and then there's just more stuff you can kind of play around with. Um, okay, so I have it where I want it. I'll click that little check mark and then I'm going to switch to the move tool and you have that bounding box around it and I'm just gonna lay it where I want it, kind of right in the center. You can do yours off to the side if you want them going um, vertical, you could do that. It's totally up to you. This is a very open project. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna show you is gonna make your life a lot easier with this. Um, so what you're gonna do is we're just gonna combine these to be one unit because right now, um, if I try to move, you know, I wanna move this a little bit. I can't move them all at once and we want this to just be one unit. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and click the top layer here. So mine is the text and then click and hold down shift and click this last um, second to the last layer here. The background layer, don't worry about that. So we highlighted all three of them. That's how you highlight. Um, and then you're gonna right click and you are going to merge these layers together. This makes it a lot easier. It's one unit. So I'm gonna click and hold down shift and you can see it gets bigger um, as a unit. And then you can move it as a unit rather than trying to move each one by himself. That's gonna help you quite a bit. All right, and you're gonna do that with all eight of your pictures so that it eventually looks something like this. They can overlap, um, they can look farther away. Um, so this person made them you know, a little bit darker in the background and lighter in the foreground, which was just kind of artsy and fun. So totally up to you. Um, when you're done, you need to go to File, Export As, and then JPEG, and it will save to your downloads. You can click and drag this to your desktop and that is what you are going to submit to Google Classroom.